What's up guys, welcome to our life. In this video, we're going to talk about XXE ejection, what it is, how to perform the attack and how to defend against it. So without further ado, we'll first take a look at the attack itself. Here is the burp repeater from which I'm going to send request to the server. I've just made a small PHP server for this demonstration and it is running on the port 8989. So the server accepts post request with XML data and it responds back with their username. See, simple. The response says you have logged in as user override. And now let's try changing the user to something test user. And uh, we, could, we get the response, you have logged in as user, test user. That's it. Now let's see how we can inject in this. I have already created a file called uh, test.txt in my downloads folder, which uh, has the content testing xxe. And uh, let's try to fetch that file. Here's a modified post request. You might notice that there are a couple of changes in here. Firstly, an additional line on top of the cred stack and the user's tag value has been changed to ampersand foo semicolon. In XML, we can declare something called as an entity. Uh, it's similar to a variable in any programming language. Uh, here I have declared an entity of type system with the location of the text.test.txe uh, file as the value. And since the server is returning user value to us, I have mentioned foo as user's value here. The format to use an entity in XML is using an ampersand followed by the name of the entity and a semicolon after that. Okay, now we've got a response from the server which says you have logged in as users testing xxe. And it is essentially the content which I've placed in the file test.txt. Here we can also try to include the etsy password file. And there we go. So here's the PHP code which is running in the server and uh, it's a pretty standard normal code which simply takes in a uh, post request and it's reading the file and it's storing the value of user tag inside a variable called user and it's storing the value from password tag and it's storing inside pass a variable and uh, it's echoing back the user variable. And XXC injection is not limited to PHP servers. It's actually uh, any server which is parsing XML uh, without proper configuration, which I'm going to tell you about, uh, can be vulnerable to XM, XXE. So how can we prevent this? The only way to prevent this is uh, just to block the use of external entities completely. So you see, there's a thing called DTD in uh, XML. It is essentially the structure uh, which the XML file follows. So only when you allow external DDDs, uh, there's a chance of the user uh, inputting external entities in the XML itself. When that is not allowed and DDD is completely done locally, which is called uh, internal DDD, uh, then, there is a, then we are eliminating the chance of the user including an external entity. And that's it for this video. There are more InfoSec related videos coming up. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.